so last week, those of you who said it, Tom had to watch the movie Morbius in its entirety and then also dress as Morbius. So without further adieu, here is Tom Grassi the worst as Morbius. <laughs> as I this said, he looks like Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Before so, show, I feel like he's I'm gonna I need to douse holy water on this man. I ordered fangs off of Amazon and they sent me 12 of them, but I must have accidentally ordered the fangs for children because these don't fit in my mouth. <laughs> so I have to say they're basically stabbing me in my gums, <laughs> and it's still a better experience than watching that dog crap of a movie because that movie was almost i really don't know if it was that one or the kevin james one i don't know which one was worse but i don't want to watch these movies anymore <laughs> i <laughs> had food oh, yeah. poisoning that... the other day and i watched morbius while i was recovering it didn't help with the recovery at all so which was better morbius or food poisoning uh Morbius, but that's only because I, I could not stop vomiting. And at least I stopped vomiting when Morbius was over. So I, I thought you were going to say I couldn't stop vomiting, and that was from watching Morbius. This is a, a wig that apparently is very good quality. This costume's not, but it's the only one I could get on short notice. So... I got it came with pants. So oh, yes. I needed pants. to see a full spin here from Tom Grassi. Yeah, well. this is what your money buys. You're looking yes. at it right here. I also, have an let Tom know if you want to add this character to the lore, let him know. No, that could no. be Wildflower's dad. We no. don't, yeah, know. or his cousin from Baltimore no. that is a Ravens fan, Poe. I, I just want to know if you paid attention because I, I know the basic plot of Morbius. I, I don't so, want to, I want to, we're, we're fact checking you here. Okay. So, guys, this is going to be a spoilerific talk or review no one cares. of yeah. Morbius. So, if you haven't seen the film, continue to not see the film. I don't want this to sound like an endorsement because it is not. It's not an endorsement of the movie because basically what happens is Jared Leto, yeah, pretty much. So Jared Leto, he's got this, oh, I just bit my tongue with these stupid You can spit words. those out if you want. Yeah. No, I mean, no. Yeah, you can tell, no. oh, okay, he's he's a warrior here, guys. No. <laughs> I'm a vampire, damn it, a living vampire. Anyway, so Morbius and, like, his brother, they got, and for some reason, his name changes to Milo. I don't really know why. But they got this weird blood disease, and their adopted dad, who's also, like, the director of the hospital, is like, okay, I'm going to take care of Milo. Morbius, you go, and and his name's Michael, but you, you go off to medical school. And so he's, like, trying to find out the cure for this disease that he has, and there's, like, oh, I can't figure it out. Then they bring some stupid ass vampire bats in and they're like, oh, okay, I'm going to go on this illegal mission with mercenaries to go and like try to see these bats. And he winds up getting cured, but oh no, it turns him into a vampire, which out of all the prescription commercials I've seen, I've never seen that one as one of the side effects. So that's a problem. But anyway, he becomes a vampire, and he's, like, fighting this urge to drink blood. And this is what the stupidest part of the movie was. And there are a lot of stupid parts of this movie. But, like, he was drinking this synthetic blood because, I don't know, Sony just didn't want to show him killing people? But it was stupid as hell. Regardless of that, then Milo comes back, who's played by Matt Smith, who's a good actor. But he seemed to realize that he's in a god-awful movie, so he just did whatever the hell he wanted to do. It's memed now but there's a whole dance scene with him where he's just like dancing and he like turns in a mirror and then he like growls but basically he gets pissed off because Morbius found out that there was a cure because he got cured and he's like hey bro cure me and Morbius like well I'm not going to cure you because then you'll turn to a vampire so then Milo goes okay I'm going to cure myself so he cures himself and he turns into a vampire because again side effects like on the TV commercial and he kills a nurse and then Morbius is like bro you just killed a nurse 
like you can't that's not cool and then he could stop his brother but he's like i can't hurt my brother so after he doesn't hurt his brother basically a whole bunch of stupid crap happens and i gotta be honest guys like the movie's really stupid so what winds up happening is they fight. He winds up subduing his brother with bats, injecting him with the cure. And so he dies in his arms. And then he turns like with the bats and he's like, oh, I'm so sad. But oh, wait, there's more. At the very there's end. More. Because, there's more. There's more. Because the after credit scenes are some of the worst pieces of crap I have ever seen in my life. So the vulture from the Spider-Man universe from the MCU, the good one, except the Into the Spider-Verse, that's a very good Sony film. But regardless, he winds up magically appearing in a prison cell. And then they're like, wait a minute, we got to let him go because he's not on our roster of prisoners. And then apparently Keaton did not want to be in this movie, which I can't blame him at all. But he winds up showing up in full mask or whatever in a horrible CGI bullcrap fest. And he's like, I don't know how I got here, but I think it's Spider-Man. We should team up out of nowhere. So, yeah, they want to they they want to do more movies, I think, but I don't think they will. So I'm going to give this two Morbs out of five um, because they never That's said generous. it's Morbid it's Morbin time. They never said it. Oh, they never actually said. They it never said it's Morbin time, which was the most. Did they Morb though? Did they no, morb? there was really not a lot of Morbin going on. How much can we pay you to take those out for the rest of the show? You, you, oh, you want me to take them out? I mean, it sounds like you have marbles in your mouth, yeah. literally. Yeah, no, it hurts. This is painful right I mean, now. Dude, okay, I how know much Packers can we pay you to keep them? I'm a big fan in? of taking a lot of things in their mouth, but that sounds more painful. Than oh, I wore wow. a shampoo costume for a whole hour, so you know, just it's just fine. Just come back to me whenever you want me to talk. But that's okay. Morbius. Don't see it. Don't. The memes are not uh, funny. Guys, that that will make them make more movies. Please don't go. Please just stop. Have you ever seen the movie The Producers? Do you understand the premise of The Producers? Yes, I do. I think that Morbius was a tax write-off or intentionally made to tank, and uh, mm. it it did just that. Gerald Leto is fifty, by the way, 50. and he's ruined so many franchises. Yes, he has. He lo- he ruined uh, Batman. Who knows the particulars? Here. I think I saw Ari Myrov uh, highlight it. I think it is... Looking at Tom, I'm sorry, to Morbius, the costume is spectacular. Like I can, I can barely even tell that's not your hair you. at this point. Thank you. Right. Oh, I worked hard on it. Right. You look like Murray in, in it looks Practical fantastic. Jokers. When he can we get some W's hair? in my yes. chat, please? Mm-hmm. W's Listen. in the chat. Listen, when I, when I have a punishment, I go all the way, right? Yes, like yes. Uh, you, go, you did go all yes, the way. He does go mm-hmm. all the way. 